It only took the death of GoDaddy Bookkeeping to get me out of my post-tax season hibernation. While GoDaddy Bookkeeping was a fairly simple program and had some shortcomings, the fact that it integrated directly with eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and PayPal, all for just a few bucks a month, made it almost too good to be true. Over the past several years, thousands and thousands of online resellers have become accustomed to using GoDaddy Bookkeeping as their main source of recording their business activity. And now, after about a decade, GoDaddy is getting out of the bookkeeping business, leaving many of you high and dry. And while there's nothing quite like GoDaddy bookkeeping out there right now for the same low price, you still do have some options. Back in early 2016, when I first started helping resellers, I started getting a lot of questions about GoDaddy bookkeeping. I was a bit skeptical because I only knew GoDaddy as an internet domain and web hosting company where I had registered my business website. What were they doing in the bookkeeping space? Back in 2006, a couple of former Intuit employees, that's the parent company of QuickBooks, they formed a company that eventually became Outright.com, which offered a simple cloud-based bookkeeping program with the ability to integrate with eBay and a few other online e-commerce platforms. The company was acquired by GoDaddy in 2012 and quickly became the preferred method of bookkeeping for a surprising amount of eBay sellers and resellers in general. I never knew exactly what to make of GoDaddy bookkeeping because first of all, it seemed odd to me for GoDaddy to go into the bookkeeping space. Second, the program offered what I consider to be an advanced feature, the ability to integrate directly with online selling platforms, and that didn't seem to be consistent with an otherwise fairly simple program that only offered income and expense accounts, but not asset or liability accounts, which required you to use some workaround methods if you wanted to track inventory. And it only cost a few bucks a month. And now they've come full circle because they're pointing their former customers in the direction of QuickBooks as a replacement solution, which is where the original creators of the program came from in the first place. So what are you supposed to do now? If you are using GoDaddy Bookkeeping and are stressing about what to do now, or if you're just new to reselling and looking for the best method of bookkeeping for you, I'm going to go over some options and some things to consider. Since GoDaddy is referring all their customers to QuickBooks, let's talk about that first. Most accountants I know have a love-hate relationship with QuickBooks. Their customer service can be hit or miss. It seems like they're always jacking up their prices, but it is the market leader in the bookkeeping space because it has some impressively robust accounting and reporting capabilities. Their main product is called QuickBooks Online, which is the cloud-based version of their original product, QuickBooks Desktop. You're fine getting the simple start version, which was $25 a month, but I literally just got an email last week that that's going up to $30 a month. They seem to raise their rates a lot more often than one might expect, which drives us accountants and our customers nuts. And while that's incredibly annoying, hopefully your business is growing more than enough to offset those increased costs. And I personally still have all of my bookkeeping clients on QuickBooks Online, and I enjoy the flexibility it gives me to derive valuable insights from the numbers. The one thing I like about QuickBooks and most other full service bookkeeping programs is the ability to reconcile your bank accounts. GoDaddy Bookkeeping did not have this. So even though it was simple and easy to use, I'm positive that the books of many of its users were filled with errors. In my opinion, if you're not regularly reconciling your bank and credit card accounts, it might not be worth doing bookkeeping at all. This is because reconciling is the best way to confirm that your numbers are accurate. If you're missing numbers in your books or if you have duplicate numbers in your books, going through the reconciliation process will bring those mistakes to light, giving you a chance to correct them. And I'm not gonna dive deep into reconciliations in this video, but it's basically just going through and confirming that what's on your bank statement is accounted for on your books. Any good bookkeeper will typically be performing reconciliations on a monthly basis. So if you're bringing in $100 of monthly profit, then spending $30 a month on bookkeeping software might not be the direction you wanna go. But if you're bringing in $1,000 of monthly profit, let's say, in my opinion, it's worth the investment. Having access to a clean set of books is going to allow you to make the decisions you need to make to drive your business forward. However, the mistake I see way too many people making is getting started with QuickBooks and then not taking any time to learn how to use it, and then they fall behind. Or maybe they don't fall behind, but they just categorize and match everything incorrectly, which creates a big bookkeeping mess that no CPA is gonna to wanna to clean up. And depending on what it looks like, many CPAs or bookkeepers will just recommend starting over fresh. So the key is to start smart. 
Don't rush in without knowing anything. Take some time for the learning curve. I get so many questions on bookkeeping and I only have time for so many consultations and bookkeeping clients that I finally decided to put together a bookkeeping basics for resellers course. You can click the link below for more information, but I just wanna make sure that you have that resource because I wanna help minimize the amount of messy books that are out there. I'm a huge advocate of knowing your numbers and that's what this course will help you do. Lastly, with QuickBooks, it does not integrate directly with eBay, Amazon, or other platforms by default, but there are apps that you can layer on that'll import your sales data from those platforms. There are really solid third-party apps such as A2X or Link My Books, or Intuit actually has its own free app for eBay now called eBay Connector. Unfortunately, these are not intuitive to set up if you have no accounting knowledge, so it's worth getting help at least for the initial setup if not for ongoing bookkeeping altogether. If you don't wanna pay for or mess with those integrations, you can always enter a manual entry on a monthly basis to account for your gross sales and platform fees, which has a similar effect. Basically what you do is create what's called a journal entry where you record the sales and fees for the month in total, as well as a type of receivable account for those sales. As the payouts come in, rather than record them as sales, you record them as a reduction of the receivable because the sales were already recorded in the journal entry. I have clients who I do this for or who do it themselves, and you can learn more about the nuts and bolts of this in my course. Or if you want, you could always do what I call the simple sales method and just classify your payouts as sales. You won't be getting the full picture, but it won't change your ultimate net profit. And then when tax time comes around, the only change you'll need to make on the tax return is to gross up your sales by the amount of fees that weren't recorded on your books. QuickBooks Online has different tiers you can pay for, each with additional features, but again, all you need is the simple start version. Separate from the QuickBooks Online products is a totally distinct product called QuickBooks Self-Employed. This is probably the most similar thing to GoDaddy bookkeeping out there. It's similar in that it's a fairly simple program that only offers income and expense accounts. It does not have asset or liability accounts, which means it doesn't offer an inventory account or allow you to reconcile your bank accounts. It's also by far the lowest cost QuickBooks solution out there. It does not, however, integrate with the selling platforms like GoDaddy bookkeeping did. So you don't have the ability to import the gross sales and platform feed data. You'll only be seeing the payout amounts. And again, that's fine for some people, so depending on what you want, QuickBooks Self-Employed might be a good fit for you. I'm likely to stick with QuickBooks Online just because it's what I use for my CPA business, for my reselling business, and it's what I use for all of my bookkeeping clients. I'm familiar with it, I like it, and I have a good system. If you're willing to either hire a bookkeeper or endure a bit of a learning curve to do it yourself, I'd recommend it to you as well, assuming your business earnings justify the investment. But there are a lot of other good bookkeeping programs out there too. Zero and FreshBooks are two other popular and reputable programs. Both have similar capabilities to QuickBooks Online, although FreshBooks is more well-suited for service-based businesses. It's worth exploring the top programs out there to see if you like one more than the other. If you're willing to endure a bit of a learning curve and a bit less flexibility for a free product, then Wave Accounting might be for you. Just like with QuickBooks, Wave Accounting has income expense accounts as well as asset and liability accounts, and you can link your bank accounts for automatic import of your transactions. Where it's less flexible is that it doesn't have third-party apps that integrate directly with the software like they do with QuickBooks. You might have luck with using Zapier to connect Wave to your online store, but I haven't yet had much exposure to this. Now let's talk about spreadsheets. This is a legitimate bookkeeping option. If you don't mind exporting data, downloading reports, working with spreadsheets, and a bit of manual entry, you might be fine using a spreadsheet. Even if you use a program like QuickBooks, I often still recommend tracking your inventory using a spreadsheet and then recording monthly inventory totals into QuickBooks from the spreadsheet on a monthly basis. I have a few free spreadsheets linked below that are primarily designed to help you track your inventory and calculate your cost of goods sold. They aren't necessarily intended to serve as an entire profit and loss for your business, but I do have plans to upgrade them to give people that option. There are several spreadsheets floating around out there that were created by resellers that many people have success using. I don't remember them all off the top of my head, but I suggest joining my Accounting for Online Sellers Facebook group, and you can find some good discussion in there about that. There are also some what I'd call more advanced spreadsheet-based solutions. These are spreadsheets that actually pull in your eBay data, and I've talked to many resellers who really like these solutions. If you sell primarily on eBay, you may wanna check out Easy Auction Tracker 
or My Cost Pro. These each have different strengths, but they both sync with your eBay data and have places where you can enter your other expenses so that you can generate profit and loss reports for different periods. Or I know a lot of Amazon sellers who use Inventory Lab for their bookkeeping. Its main purpose is to help you track and manage your inventory, but you have the ability to enter other expenses as well, and then you can generate profit and loss reports. Reseller Genie is a newer program that accommodates multiple platforms. Right now, I'd say it's sort of in between a cloud-based bookkeeping program and an advanced spreadsheet-based Based solution. It's a mixture of automated and manual components, but they're continually implementing feedback and adding more automation, and it could be a solution for you depending on your business circumstances. I've said it once and I'll say it again. There's no one-size-fits-all solution for bookkeeping. The best system for you will depend on how big your business is, how quickly it's growing, how many different platforms you sell on, and how involved you want to be in the bookkeeping process. If you only sell on Poshmark, then Easy Auction Tracker won't be for you. If you want to see your gross sales rather than just your net sales, QuickBooks Self-Employed won't be for you. If you want all the bells and whistles but don't want to put in the time to learn, then QuickBooks Online might not be for you. Ideally, everyone could get a basic bookkeeping and accounting education. I think this is important whether or not you hire a bookkeeper. If you do your own books, you'll have the skills and knowledge to do them well. If you hire a bookkeeper, you'll be able to have productive and intelligent conversations with them and maybe even catch their mistakes. That investment in your education will allow you to focus more on your business and grow it and then any additional bookkeeping cost you're paying becomes irrelevant. If you're interested in getting that foundation, again, check out my bookkeeping course linked below. Part of it is you'll get access to my private bookkeeping Facebook group where either I or a member of my team will be there to help you with answers to your questions and to find the best solutions for you. Be sure to subscribe for more videos where I'll talk more about your bookkeeping and how to keep your taxes and accounting on track in your reselling business. And check out at NotYourDadCP on Instagram for more tips and behind the scenes. Use the links below to check out the resources I mentioned in this video that'll help you optimize your tax situation and overcome the anxiety so you can focus on building your business profitably. Mm -hmm.